the Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by MySoCalLender.com. MySoCalLender.com. My credit score met the minimum requirement. Why was I denied? Having good or excellent credit can open up a lot of opportunities to save money, especially when you apply for a loan or credit card. Oftentimes, lenders will share their minimum FICO score requirement. However, just because yours meets that criteria, it does not guarantee that you'll be approved. Your FICO score, not the FACO score that you're getting from Credit Karma or Credit Sesame. The FICO score is the one that you really need. It is often one of the many factors that lenders consider in credit decisions. Mortgages have about 37 different items that go into pricing and qualification. So think about that. If you've been denied credit recently, despite meeting the FICO score criteria, here are some potential reasons for why it happened. Credit scores vary. When lenders pull a FICO score for a credit applicant, it may not be the score you thought you had. There are a few reasons for this scenario. You checked a different credit score. When you're checking your credit score, make sure you're looking at a FICO score. Lots of different banks and institutions put right on there that they're going to give you a credit score. Doesn't mean a thing if it's not FICO. Unless it says FICO, it's not FICO. While other scoring models might consider similar factors as the FICO score, their calculations are different and can sometimes lead to wide discrepancies. I've seen as many as 100 point differences from FICO scores to FICO scores. Your score was based on different information. Your FICO score is based on information found in your credit reports. But depending upon your, la your past and current credit relationships, and how you've been reported information can vary between the credit bureaus. So if you check your FICO score based on data from one bureau and the lender uses a different bureau, the same score pulled at the same time, but from different bureaus may and generally will come out different. The lender used a different scoring model. There are several different versions of the FICO score. And while the most widely used one is the FICO score eight, they're actually on 12 now. Some lenders may use others, although each, each score version is built on the same foundation. There are subtle differences that could impact your score. This means that while your FICO score may meet the minimum criteria using one version, it might not if the lender is using another version. Think of it as, I'm going to date myself again. Are you a Mac user or a Windows user? Windows. So what is it, Windows? I think they're at version 11 now? Yep. Is that the same as, version nine, as Windows 95? No. <laughs> Same idea, right? So FICO 8 is the same as they say Windows 95. FICO 12 might be Windows 11. That's kind of the, the difference right there. Other factors are stopping you from getting approved. As previously, now FICO, I only use myfico.com and no, they don't pay me to use it. Myfico.com. If you notice, it says FICO right in the name of it. That's how we, tra we, uh, we uh, track our scores and see what the changes are from time to time. Other factors, employment, income, debt to income ratio, collateral, down payment, adverse credit report uh, items, all of that can be part of it. Now, I'm not a big fan of surprises when it comes to credit scoring. That's why I check mine almost every day. A little overkill, some people say. But you can get registered with myfico.com, and that way you don't have that, that question mark when you go in. And, and you really know what your true report is. That is the Your Credit Matters segment brought to you by MySoCalLender.com.